Making their way into worship centers came readily handy, and as anticipated, many spent time worshiping God through songs. There is no better day to be in church for members of the faith-based community, but the last day of the very challenging 2016 and of course the eve of 2017 envisaged as the break year for recovery on every side. There seemed to be a general consensus about the provisions of 2016, so it was not difficult finding loads of prayers and declaration as part of the day's program. Every assessor powers that has been responsible for your trouble in 2016, I cause them to die in the name of Jesus. I command them to die in the name of Jesus. The presiding bishop of Trem charged faithfuls to be firm in their hold on God, declaring that it will be tough for those outside the boat. God has a plan for Nigeria, and the enemy, the devil, is fighting to truncate it using different systems. But when we hang in there, I can assure you that the situation is going to keep way for the purpose of God to be fulfilled. Seeking for direction and solution for a clearer navigation through the new year, it stops on the wish list of most Nigerians. So what is the way to go? You are not going to get it on social media, you are going to get it on spiritual media. It's not going to be on Facebook, it's on Facebook. The book you will face the most is the Bible. At the dawn of 2017, it was all praises, dance, facilitations, and warm embrace, clearly demonstrating how grateful they made it. The God of yesterday is the God of today, and he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Nations have gone through recession, and they recovered. Nigeria will not be any different. That same God that helped America recover, helped even Russia to recover, will help Nigeria to recover. We are looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Several theme has been announced by the clergy. From being a year of jubilee to year of supernatural fire and prayers and more, nothing can be more instructive than the agreement across board that 2017 is a year that will blossom through fervent prayers. Welcome to 2017. Olu Phillips, Channels Television News.